When you think about ending extreme poverty, satellites might not immediately come to mind. But the U.S. Agency for International Development is partnering with NASA and scientists such as those at the International Center for Integrated Mountain Development to help people struggling to survive in remote places around the world. Looking at our environment from 70 miles up allows for analyses and innovative solutions previously unimaginable. According to the UN, approximately 40% of the population of Nepal lives in poverty. This in a country where nearly 85% are located in non-urban areas of the Terai, hill and mountain regions, often far removed from any national services. For many, small-scale agriculture is the only way to provide food for one's family. And it is forests that provide the leaves and wood that make subsistence farming and a sustainable lifestyle possible. In the 1970s and 80s, forests in Nepal were in real trouble. 30 to 40 years since then, we've actually seen a huge increase in forest cover, up to nearly 40%, which is the goal that the government of Nepal has to maintain indefinitely. And this is due to a large part USAID efforts and other donors working with community forestry and building up community capacity to manage their forests. But with forests come some challenges. More forests mean more forest fires, especially when you're coupled with increasing temperatures and dry conditions that come with climate change. One of the tools to manage this forest fire comes from the Severe Himalaya program. It uses satellite imagery which can detect hot spots on a map to determine where and if, if and when a forest fire occurs. And then it's automated, so it automatically sends out an SMS message, a text message up to mobile phones, and an email to decision makers and forest fighters in the areas where the forest fire has occurred so that they can go fight the forest fire. The system is in the early stages of being deployed across Nepal. We are hopeful that will ultimately reach the majority of over 18,000 community forestry groups with automated SMS system so that communities everywhere will be able to evacuate or mobilize resources to fight forest fire before they become particularly damaging or deadly. The Severe Himalaya program creates unprecedented solutions for vulnerable people, helps remote communities become resilient, and protects their agrarian way of life. And it more broadly supports informed decision-making by national governments who now have access to satellite observations, data analysis, and projections on land use, biodiversity, and water and other natural resources. Most of our policy debates are charged by emotions rather than being based on evidence, facts, data. So I have always believed that if we can have a shift, that is a policy debate based on science rather than emotions, it's going to have a huge impact. Uh, having personally seen the workstation of Survey Himalaya, I came to believe that it has a potential. It, it, it could be very helpful in policy debate of environment, agriculture, and a lot of other things. USAID, working to end extreme poverty, will continue collaborating with NASA and international partners through the Severe Himalaya program, employing science, technology, and innovation to promote sustainable development strategies that serve the people of Nepal and others in the region.